Murdering the popular Palm Desert teacher claims that he doesn't remember most of that night. Though he does say that he does remember putting her lifeless body in her car. Michael Franco is accused of the murder of Jill Thomas Grant back in December of 2013. Now, our cameras were not allowed into the courtroom today, so you are looking at file footage right now. Now, once again, Michael Franco is accused of murdering Jill Thomas Grant, a popular math teacher at Palm Desert High School. Today, he took the stand. He described a history of drug abuse and arrests, including an armed robbery and pepper spraying a former boss. Now, today, Franco claimed that Grant gave him meth the night of the murder for the purpose of sex. The prosecution fired back that Grant tried to encourage Franco to be sober and was actually drug testing him to ensure his sobriety. Now, the defense also brought up issues of memory problems from a brain injury from a motorcycle accident, while the prosecution questioned his ability to remember some things but not others. Now, Franco appeared emotional several times, describing Franco as his best friend. They had dated for about a year when he said a fight started that night, December 22nd. He said in the course of that night, he injected more meth than he ever had and that most of the night is fuzzy. Jill's body was found along a golf course the following day. Franco was arrested a couple days later. He made two attempts to kill himself in jail, once in December 2013 and again in January 2014. Now, attorneys for both the prosecution and defense say they cannot speak with me on camera at this time. The case is expected to wrap up in about a week, and then, of course, it will go to the jury to decide. We are, of course, hearing testimony from Franco on the stand. At this point, the judge said, because it was already 420, that they were going to have to finish up his testimony tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. We will, of course, continue to follow the story and bring you updates. Live in Indio, I'm Angela Monroe, KMIR News.